It is uh, 12.38 p.m. This is uh, Kevin DeClaren. Um, several hours ago, um, I had put it, God had put it on my mind to do this right here. And um, let's talk about the work of the ministry. And if you, when you watch the video, when you watch the beginning of it, you will understand um, basically what the plan was. I wrote it out in the back here. Right? And I read this to you. But then I went and I watched The Great Gatsby, um, the one that's with Leonardo DiCaprio the, the and um, some of the other actors, um, like Tobey Maguire. Very good performance, by the way. That was very, very well done. But um, I took a cat nap, which is probably the biggest mistake that I made. And in doing a cat nap, um, Gabriel came in here at least twice and assaulted me. So I got angry because of the fact that here I am trying to do the work of the ministry um, for God and instead of get, getting appreciation I get molested. How do you talk to a, a group of pastors about ministry answering all those questions when on the side or in the background you're getting, can I just plainly say it, fucked, raped, sexually abused, um, and assaulted. You know, needles in the feet being stuck, shots being given to your body four, five, six times. Well, from last night, when the first video was completed till 1238 or 1240 now, this woman has come at least six or seven times to use my body on that bed right there. Look. Alright? Six or seven times. So I thought to myself, you know what? This doesn't make sense. This doesn't make any sense for me. Why why should I sit here and do all of that work? Alright? Why should I be somebody's patsy? Why should I do all of this work here and get nothing for it? Right? Not even respect. Um, on behalf of a God who will not come down and speak to these people and tell these people to stop. What am I dealing with here? Well, what it came to, what just came to mind a few minutes ago is I'm dealing with fakers, right? I'm dealing with fakers. I'm dealing with fuckers, right? I, and I'm dealing with fags. But what I don't have and what I've lost through this entire process is my family, right, or my faith, my my uh, my family, and my friends. All right. So I'm dealing with fakers. That is MacArthur, TMS, and the Masters, uh, the Masters Seminary, and Grace Community Church. Right, Grace Community Church. Those people are fakers to me. All right. And the fuckers are Gabriel Franklin and all the Haitian women who basically have faked the whole aspect of being family when in reality that's all that they were. I guess they were African women who consulted with the Swiss Europeans and American Europeans to give me sex. They simply had to keep um, my, I, you know, their identity and mine a secret. In other words, they couldn't disclose to me who they were. Um, as the fact that they were not family, they were just pretending, and they were buying time and waiting for me. I guess they separated me early enough. You see, my skin is is is, is lighter than theirs, and so that's a that's a supposedly a plus, and they can use that to reproduce children, and make uh, and make uh, I guess make um, make I, I you know sort of the whole reproduction thing. Um, Maria Net was probably not related the woman that's in Europe in Switzerland Geneva the woman that, that that first received she's probably not related to Gabriel Franklin as mother and daughter and the other woman Carell Hoffman is probably not related to either one of those women and this Sandra de Cron is, is is no more related to any of them either so they're not this big happy family they're African women they're Haitian women who obviously have 
subjected themselves to European Americans and Europeans over there. And in doing so, somehow I was born to somebody. I thought it was Mary Ann, but she's probably one of them. She's probably one of those African women who, who, who bought into the system and got knocked up by someone, Michael, or it could have been that Marianne never bore me to begin with because I don't have her face. I don't look anything like the woman. So I have no idea. You know that movie by Phoebe Cates um, where they have um, three women, right? And only, or three men, or three, it's either three women or three men and somebody is the parent. And the girl has to figure out who is her mother or who is her father, right? One of those, one of those stories where you've got one claiming it, but then you're not really sure who it is. Well, anyway, that's what the fuckers are. That's what African women are doing to young um, boys that are mixed. Boys that are not their children, right? So what if he's 10 years old? Seven more years, he'll be ready to go. For some, all he has to be is 13 and coming. And God only knows how many times they've used his cum to reproduce children. Children by the dozen, by African women. All you have to do is cum. And you don't know what they're doing with it. You have no idea how many children are being reproduced as a result of it. So, dealing with fakers, people who aren't really Christians and don't know Christ. Fuckers, African women who have been trained by the rod to submit. And facts. European American men who practice same sex and offer it to African males who will subject themselves to slavery. And then on the other side of that is the Christian faith, right? Which I no longer have because I no longer have God's church, right? On my side. Um, I know family, I don't know what family is. Never had a father, never had a mother. And don't have any, um, and, and have no wife and no children. So you can just X out family. And as far as friends are concerned, any European that I knew in America, they were the enemy. Working together with the fakers and the fuckers and the fags to bring me to this place. So, men, look at your own situation. Is this really your situation here? Is this really who you are? Or does somebody have your life? in their hands and pulling you on a string like they've been to me doing to me all my life maybe that's your situation that wasn't my plan okay you understand this is Jude when you read the book of Jude Jude said I want to read you one verse out of Jude one verse out of Jude Jude says this at the at the beginning of his letter I have some food here I have hot dogs and french fries um, in the oven so I gotta go get it before it burns down the house um, he says in verse 3 he says beloved while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation I found it necessary to write to you exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints right so he changed his position he was going to write them about salvation but instead He's exhorting them to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. Why? Because certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation. Ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into uh, lewdness and, and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. You know what I heard this morning? When I read this, I don't read it like a Christian. I read it like a Gentile. Okay, and God only speaks to Jews through Jews to Jews. So the leadership of the church cannot come through Gentile Christians, born again, people that are um, people who have professed the faith. I'm not exactly sure what's going on in Israel, and I don't know what's going on in the churches of America. But when a person has a desire to to talk to pastors on the pastoral level, and this is what one European pastor does against a younger minister, right? Because they didn't do this by themselves. This didn't just happen all by itself. For a person to be sexually assaulted seven times. So instead of seven videos, 
like I have planned, if you look at if you when you see the first video, instead of seven videos answering these questions, instead what did I give you? I gave you the scenario. How can I stand before a camera and talk to you about the work of the ministry as a pastor when this is what's going on in the background of my life? How can I go out there and preach salvation to these people when this is what they're doing to me every day? Instead of fake, instead of the faith. I'm, I have a bunch of fakers in the background waiting for me to, to, to do ministry, to do work, for them to take it back to their homes and back to their churches and back to their businesses and back to reproduce it. All they got to do is have a copy of this, right? Reword it. And the scriptures are already written on there, right? All they got to do is do it over in their own tongue. You got, fuck, um, and instead of family, I, I have a bunch of fuckers. Who comes here every I mean it's 12 o'clock I should have been done with this thing to upload it but instead I have these women coming in here just to give me blowjobs and to and to tear into my flesh right and give me dreams and instead of friends I have a bunch of fags who betray me you see what kind of a pastor would I be what kind of a pastor would I be in a church if this is what I was if this is what I'm dealing with in the background of my life Right? I can't lead your families. I can't lead the faith that's inside of your heart. And I can't be friends with you. Right? Not when I have fat, uh, uh, fakers like MacArthur, fuckers like Franklin, and um, fags like Jonathan, and God knows how many others that are behind him and them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I introduced this ministry to you. And now God is saying, don't do it because they will take the work. And they will destroy you in the process because I'm calling myself a pastor teacher right the Quran the pastor that's not good for me I'm not allowed to be a pastor not because that's not my heart's desire but because of a uh, because of a faker who's taking control over my life a fucker who has no respect for my family my father my mother my God or me and a bunch of fags whose jealousy runs people like me quicker into the ground than anything else.